Hi, my scholars. My name is Abiola, and this is my school channel where we are solving the jam CBT pass question for the subject chemistry the year 2016. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. We will be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. In this clip, we are solving questions 36 to 50. So join me as we solve question 36. An example of a solid emotion is what? Normally, you should know that emotion, uh, we are talking about two liquids that will not mix normally. So when you are talking about a solid emotion, that means you are involving a liquid alongside a solid. And a very good example of that is butter. Okay, you have butter, you have cheese. Option A is the correct option. When you look at milk, you're talking about a liquid-liquid emulsion. So, an example of a solid emulsion is butter. Option A is very correct. Number 37. An isotope has an atomic number of 15 and a mass number of 31. Okay, The number of proton it contains is what? So, we should recall that atomic number still means the proton number. The number of protons determines the atomic number. So, and the mass number is the addition of the proton number and neutron number. Okay, so if the mass number is 31, and already we can get the atomic number is same as the proton number. That tells you the proton number is still 15 and the neutron number is 16. Okay, addition of neutron number plus proton number gives you the mass number. So we can recall, like I've mentioned earlier, that the atomic number is gotten from the proton number. The proton is located inside the nucleus of an atom. So the number of proton it contains is 15 found in option B. Question 38. Calculate the volume in cm cube of oxygen evolved at STP when a current of 5 amperes is passed through acidified water for 193 seconds. Okay, Given that um, 1 Faraday equals 96,500, we have the molar volume of the gas at STP as um, given as 22.4 dm cube. So for acidified water, we just have to pull out the equation for it. What we just need basically for this question is to identify that four moles of electrons are required. Okay, so that will be four times Faraday, right? And we know one Faraday is 96,500. Isn't it to liberate just that um, the molar volume at STP? Okay, so when we multiply this, then we recall that Q equals I T. We are told that current of 5 amperes, okay, for a time of 193 seconds. So, 5 times this, it gives us 965 coulombs. So, if we see 4 times 96500 gives you this volume at STP, therefore, what amount with this same, what amount in volume with this same coulomb of charges deposit? So, that will be 965 we deposit what we don't know. Okay, then we cross multiply. Therefore, I'm going to have x equals 22.4 times 965 over. Okay, we have this here. So this comes underneath. That's 4 times 96500. Year 1, year 100. Okay, so very well, we have um, 4 year 1. For your 5.6. Okay, so 5.6 times 1, I have 5.6 over 1 times 100 over 100. So when we divide this by 100, what we are going to have is 0 0.056 dm cube. Okay, so this is what we are going to have in dm cube. If we are to bring it to cm cube, okay, we just have to multiply by a thousand. So we are doing this because this is the provision of options given us. So let's go back to the screen and select the correct option 0 0.056. So join me as we scan through all of the options provided 
and you will see option A, 0 0.056 DMQ as the correct option. Question 39, the gas that is used for the treatment of cancer is what? So we are talking about radiotherapy and that gas is radon, okay, treatment of cancer. Option A, neon, that is um, for glowing adverts, okay. We have um, xenon, that is, it is used in photographic flashes. We have argon, gas blanket in hack wedding. Okay, so the correct option is option B for radon. Radon is that noble gas that is used for the treatment of cancer. Kindly remember that you just have to use the link in the description below. Okay, it takes you to the MySchool website. This will enable you to download the MySchool mobile app or get the MySchool software for just a token of 1,000 Naira. So right now we're tackling question 40. A chemical reaction in which the hydration energy is greater than the latter's energy is referred to as what? It is referred to as an exothermic reaction. Remember, in exothermic reaction, it is given off to the surrounding. So, and um, when we look at these two, hydration energy and latter's energy, they are very important when you talk about ionic solids. For instance, you talk about salt. Okay, this um, helps you to be able to identify or describe um, melting point, boiling point, solubility, and what have you. So, let's go back to the question given us. A chemical reaction in which the hydration energy is greater than the lighter's energy is referred to as an exothermic reaction, option D. Don't forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video clip. Number 41. MnO4 plus Y plus 5 moles of ion 2, okay, gives you this, then this, then this. This is the reactant side, this is the product side, okay. The simple clue is just this. Um, this is a titration, okay, of um, KmnO4, potential manganese 7 against uh, ammonium ion 3 sulfate. Once you can determine this equation, once you can find it out, you will just know that what we have here is eight moles okay we are having eight yeah eight h plus okay so um this tells you about a reduction reaction and this shows oxidation reaction so just use the titration of kmno4 against um, a standard solution of ammonium ion 3 sulfate and you'll be able to determine what y is so the correct option here is option c eight moles of hydrogen ion aqueous solution option c is very correct 42 the compound above exhibits what at first this compound here is for lactic acid and um, this is uh, this exhibition is about optical isomerism is a form of um, stereoisomerism okay whereby a particular molecule can exist as two molecules as two different as two isomers yeah, to put it correctly and then um, they don't superimpose they find a form a kind of mirror image okay to one another they have the same physical properties but they rotate polarized lights in different directions just like your left and your right hand so this phenomenon you are seeing here is optical isomerism the correct option here is option d for optical isomerism number 43 n moon saccharide for the reaction you have polysaccharide and water okay p and q all right in the process above p and q rep, uh, respectively represent what okay so um, this monosaccharide is coming together to form polysaccharide that process is referred to as condensation you know for every step along the way to um, form polymers okay one molecule of water is being removed okay so um so this p represents condensation then Q stands for hydrolysis, okay, whereby you are breaking down this um, polysaccharide back to monosaccharide, and that action is by dilute acid, okay. So, um, yeah, polysa example of polysaccharides, you talk about um, certain ones like starch, you talk about cellulose, you talk about inulin, you talk about uh, glycogen, animal starch. So, the correct option here is option A, P represents condensation and Q represents hydrolysis forward backward option a is very correct number 44 the functional groups present in the compound above are what okay these are the functional groups oh hydroxyl 
and CL Allo group. Okay, if you want to name, that is when you can now refer to this as chloro whatever. Okay, chloro whatever. But for the identification as a functional group, okay, we classify chlorine, fluorine, they are all allogenes. That is why we refer to them as the allo group or the allogen group. So the functional groups presented here they are hydroxy group and allo group. So the correct option is option D. Don't forget that you can ask your questions right now. All you just need to do, you click on the link in the description below. You will get to the My School website where you can ask your questions right now. And within moments, solutions will be sent back to you on the website. So join me as we tackle question 45. In the diagram above, X is the what? Okay, in the diagram above, this diagram represents an exothermic reaction. You can see this, you can see the activation energy, you can see reactant, you can see product. This is definitely an exothermic reaction. And delta H is negative, that is enthalpy change. This point here is negative. So the, in the diagram above, X is the enthalpy change, option D is the correct option. In case you have better steps, explanations to any of the questions we have solved so far, please would like to know. Just use the comment section below, indicate the question number and the solution you like to share. Number 46. The diagram represents what? Okay, look at the potential energy reactants, activated complex, okay, reaction coordinate products. This is a typical representation of exothermic reaction always remember the exothermic reaction the enthalpy change is negative and energy is released to the surrounding so the correct option here is option b the diagram represents an exothermic reaction 47 the curve depicts titration between a strong acid of ph what okay so if we try and trace um, this um, diagram here you'll be seeing um, the the pH of the acid roughly like 3, 3.5 and anything, look at this 3.5, then we are looking at roughly around 7 thereabout. So if the titration, the whole thing falls between 3.5 to 7.0, that tells the titration between a strong acid like HCl and a weak base like aqueous ammonia. Okay, so the correct option here is option B, a strong acid against a weak base. Option B is very correct. 48. From the diagram above, an ideal gas can be represented by what? Okay, so this is actually PV against P. Okay, and this is for an ideal gas. So this is represented by letter N. So from the diagram above, an ideal gas can be represented by letter N. Option D is very correct. Question 49. We have a um, methane. Okay, CH4, then chlorine gas, then we have this. So the major factor that influences the rate of the reaction above is what? Okay, this is an alkane family. So the major factor here, it is light, ultraviolet light to be precise. So the correct option is option D. The major factor that influences the rate of the reaction above is option D for light. Question 50 we have this NO204 then gives you this now the key thing we are looking at in this um, reaction is this the enthalpy change is positive so this tells you about an endothermic reaction then for an endothermic reaction so in the reaction below to be precise in the endothermic reaction above rather an increase in temperature would do what so for an endothermic reaction positive when you increase temperature you are favoring the uh, the product formation Okay, and also you are increasing the value of the equilibrium constant. So the correct option here is option B. In the reaction above, an increase in temperature will increase the value of the equilibrium constant and also it will favor product formation. Option B is very correct. We've come to the end of this segment, but there are more video clips to come on other subjects. Kindly stay tuned by hitting the like button Click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get alert as soon as we upload the next video clip for the next subject for the year 2016 just for you.